What is up, Babylonians? Dan was here, and today we're going to be looking at the game Noita. So this is going to be very similar to a series done by uh, a, a, an older YouTuber, Total Biscuit, who is unfortunately no longer with us. But I really liked the formats that he did. So he did WTF is, uh, and that really helps me out with my choices when coming to uh, buying games. So I want to try and keep it very similar to that because I thought it's brilliant format, it's very informative, and I say it helped me so much when I was younger. So I'm hoping that we can help out other people with these kinds of videos as well. So what is Noita? Well, we'll go more into that shortly, but it's basically a pixel-based game uh, where physics are used. So every single pixel can be destroyed, can be changed like modified you can set it on fire uh, which you'll, you'll see all this in the video but first of all let's just have a quick look at the options menu that we have available to us so you have your your basic general settings so you've got your window mode you've got the options of windowed full screen windowed or full screen real uh, we'll stick with the windowed for now and then you've got your resolution so you can have it set to whatever you like or set to your display's resolution and then you've got display number so you can have it on if you've got two monitors you can choose between one and two three monitors one two or three uh, then you've got your v-sync and uh, that's about it for this page so if we look at the graphics again very very basic you've got your pixel art anti-aliasing we've got that on uh, you've got your low resolution and your low quality rendering so for me they're both off but you, if you haven't got a pc capable then you can turn those on to lower down the settings. And then you've got your, your basic brightness, contrast, and gamma, uh, your UI, so your damage numbers, and your inventory hover box animations, which you can turn off if, again, you haven't got a powerful enough PC for this game. Uh, then we go into the audio, which is very basic. You've got your, your music volume, up sliders up and down, your sound effects uh, up and down as well. And then you have your input, which is your keyboard and mouse, or your gamepad. So you can actually configure the gamepad controls or keyboard and mouse controls as well. You can have it set to primary or secondary. Um, you then got the streaming options, which is where you can enter in your channel name and you can connect you up to Twitch, which will then actually allow your viewers to interact via the Twitch chat. Uh, depending on the mods that you have installed, which we have none at the moment, uh, but we'll we will go into mods shortly as well. So as you can see, we have none enabled at the moment, but we're just going to show the base game off first, and then see what kind of mods we can do in this game. So let's have a look at the actual gameplay and see if you will actually enjoy it and if it's a good or a bad purchase for you. Right, let's go. So what is this game Noita. Well, first of all, that might not be how you say the name. So forgive me if I am absolutely butchering it, but this game is a roguelike game where you start off with two two spells, basically. So it's two different ones. One's going to be an unlimited um, use one. One's going to have a limit to it. So from this clip, you can see we have a, an unlimited one that fires like a, an energy ball. And the second one, I believe, was a a TNT or a, um, a dynamite one that has 25 uses. So I believe it switched between that, uh, an explosive crystal uh, that you have five of, and also a um, a bomb that you have three uses of as well. Each of them have obviously varying levels of power. So the 25 one's going to be less uh, than the other ones. And as you can see, actually, it's a fireball for this one not a TNT uh, or dynamite as I believed uh, but yes it, you start off with randomized spells uh, to begin with and you go through these I guess almost dungeons so at the moment we're in the mines you go through the dungeons and everything that you see you can interact with in some way so here you can see we've found another another wand that gives us a new spell uh, so you can collect different ones as you go but you can also modify these ones, which we'll go into later as well, uh, to make your own your own spells in a way. So you have base elements. So you might have like a, um, a base skill. So for this one, it's like a projectile, uh, which has 
extra abilities to triple it and to make it bounce. So you can do that with any of the spells that you find. Um, you can modify them, you can take them off other ones, add them onto your current one. Um, so it's just one of those games where you have to find the best setup for yourself and the situation. Hence why you have quite a large inventory as well for your wands and your potions. So the world that you're in, um, you can actually interact with uh, every little part of it in some way. So you can see the fire there. Uh, that was potentially started by me knocking off one of the lanterns onto some wood, which has then caused the fire. You can then create explosions that will damage the world around you as well. Uh, as you're killing enemies as well, they will bleed. The blood will stay on the floor, creating a pool. Um, all of the liquids as well have different effects on your character and on the enemies as well. So, as you can see, we currently have blood on us. This, uh, the blood will mean that the there is a higher chance of a critical shot on ourselves, but also that you are very, uh, very much immune to fire. The the wetter you are so this could be water this could be uh, sludge this could be blood that will actually make you immune to fire for a short time until that fire dries you out and then will obviously set you on fire you can then put yourself out by either surviving long enough for the fire to go out or for uh for you to jump into some some kind of liquid to actually put that fire out So you can progress through different areas of the game uh, just by going further and further down. So the deeper you get, the uh, the more dangerous it gets. You'll find stronger enemies, more enemies, uh, different um, different threats really. So for example, at the moment we've just got the basic enemies coming at us, but you can get to a level where there's more dangerous enemies such as like tanks, uh, enemies with weapons as well and just harder hitting enemies in general. The aim of the game really is just to survive, see how far down you can get. You can interact with just about any item in the game. So as you can see, I was pushing that minecart there. Um, and then what you want to try and get to is a portal. So let's have a look at one of these portals now and see what they do. So once you've headed far enough down in the, your current area, you will manage to find, hopefully, they are slightly hidden, one of these portals to the Holy Mountain. So within the Holy Mountain, uh, what you'll find is that you are in a safe space. So there won't be any enemies there, but it is also the doorway to, the, to your next area. So if we head on through and have a look what we have here. You'll find, first of all, uh, a way to heal yourself and refresh those spells that you've got. You'll then come to the shop section, which is where you can buy usually wands, or you can also get sort of different spells or modifications for your wands there uh, at a price. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have, any, have enough money in this section. But you can also then pick up a perk. So it's best to have a look at what the perks do. Uh, some of them are good, some of them are bad, uh, but some of them have really good effects, but have a bad effect to offset it as well. So you've got to decide what you want and see if they can actually link up with the mods that you've currently got as well. You'll then progress onto the next section. So here we're back into the, I think it's the coal mines here, uh, where you'll find different elements as well that you can actually interact with with your, your spells and your potions. So what can you interact with? Well, mostly fire, really. As you can see here, we've blown up that uh, pool of oil, setting a light to the, to the oil, which is now flowing down uh, below. So it uses obviously gravity to, to travel. So if it's on an incline, it will flow down that incline. Uh, and then another one here you can see uh, this enemy here actually uses dynamite, explodes, and a single pixel of fire can actually cause an inferno. So that's landed on wood. So that's going to set that light and burn all the way through. And then and again here, we're against uh, some kind of mushroom people. So I decided to get out the fire wand, and because they are plant-based, that has set them alight. So it is a very 
fire oriented orientated game um, which is a lot of fun because you can do a lot of things with it you can you can try and sort of trap enemies within the fire uh, cause them to, to die but then there are other elements such as like toxic you've got the water uh, you can with water you can actually use lightning which will travel through it or electricity to the sorry, which will travel through it better so it is a brilliant game when it comes to different elements and how they work there's also plenty that you can interact with so as you can see here we've got one of these lanterns hanging down in the uh, in the safe space so you can actually kick things in here so with this you can see it's swinging as we're kicking it which I think is great fun you can kick statues so you can use these as like a kind of uh, barrier between you and the enemies you can move things around you can block things off if you need to if you've got the availability around you it's just a lot of fun really Let's have a look at the, um, the mods that you can have in this game now. So, click into mods. These are some that I've downloaded. Let's see, got like random starting loadouts, health container, uh, spell lab where you can build and learn about the wands. And uh, the one that I'm most looking forward to looking at is the realistic particle. So, it doesn't change anything in the game uh, physically, but it just changes how they look. So, let's have a look at. Uh, so, we start a new game with mods active. Jump into the new game. Could look quite nice actually. So you can download the mods from the, the workshop on Steam and you can basically use whatever you want. If you find something that you feel is going to be a bit overpowered and no need to worry you can just turn it off anytime you want if you're feeling like you want to be overpowered then again turn it on you can turn on as many mods as your machine can handle so it's really all down to you what mods you have and how much uh, or how many of them you use and whether you use them for your advantage whether to make the game harder whether to make the game easier uh, or just to make the game more fun so my verdict on this game as to whether or not you should buy it. Uh, I mean, if you're a fan of ro the roguelike kind of games where you can never truly win, I guess. You can you can keep trying and getting further and further, trying to beat your own records, then yes, I'm just going to get this game. If you're looking for something with a bit more um, depth to it, there's not much to it, but it is a fun game. So I would recommend buying it if you are into the roguelike games. Thank you for watching and as always, enjoy.